juice cleanses are said to be the way to go if you want to detox your body. But how does science weigh in on all of this? Healthy Gut Girl, Kitty Martone is here to talk about how juicing impacts our well-being. Hi, Kitty. Hi. Okay, so I know a lot of people that do this juice thing. They do juice cleanses. They're all about it. Mm -hmm. And I am terrified of them. Really? Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, there's something about a blender and, <laughs> you know, all of these things. Uh, it's just too much. Blender would be a smoothie. Because right. that's contain that's key. That's but just like blending they do, it. like they squeeze yeah, the things, juicer. and it's like it just feels like a lot of work. It, it kind of is. <laughs> I mean, it's no more work than making some scrambled eggs or okay. making some, you know, food. Um, but it is. I love juicing. I've do been you? juicing since you know juicing was popular back with remember Jack Lalanne or am I dating yeah. myself here? No, no. So Jack Lalanne, he had a juicer. Sure. I so remember. This, I really, really liked that. And basically I think things are gonna come full circle and of we're course. all gonna be doing the Jack Lalanne here next year. Totally. It'll be all the rage. Right. So um what used to be the thing was it was just kind of a theory or a notion that people thought, yeah, it's good for you. And pound for pound, like the naysayers are right in some ways. Like pound for pound, like you take one full carrot and the juice of one full carrot, and the whole carrot is going to contain more benefit than just the juice. Uh -huh. Because you're got, you've got the fiber in the carrot. Sure, and sure. Healthy Gut Girl quiz, what's another word for fiber? Prebiotic. Oh, prebiotic, oh. yes. Sorry, I fail. Okay. I'm a terrible student, Kitty. I apologize. I'm disappointed. I'm sorry. So prebiotics, prebiotics are what I'm feed to... the uh -huh. probiotics. They right. feed all of our beneficial microorganisms in the body. They okay. thrive on this fiber, okay. which, is, you which know, is what you're ingesting when you ingest the whole vegetable, whole fruit. Right, exactly. And we know for years, doctors have been saying you need to get your fiber, you need to get your fiber. 52% or more of Americans are very deficient in fiber. And this leads to sluggish colon, all these digestive disorders, correct. right? So the naysayers are correct in that way. But that's never, you never just juice one carrot and drink and the juice of one carrot. Right. So the science that I'm going to uh, reveal to you now is um, they have done science on these certain compounds that are in vegetables and fruits that are, there's one called um, uh, luteolin. Uh -huh. And it's a flavonoid, which is like um, something that helps you, that helps the integrity of your circulatory system. It help, keeps you from bruising. It uh -huh. keeps you from, um, it, it just strengthens your body, anti-inflammatory. Uh -huh. It has all these benefits. And when it's in high concentration, it reduces inflammation in the gut. Oh. It's anti-inflammatory, anti-parasitic, anti-microbial, oh. anti-cancer, anti-aging, anti-all kinds of great and stuff. And it's a compound within within the, in the fruits vegetables. and vegetables, but it has to be uptaken in high amounts. So how would you do that? You juice, juice it. it. So I recommend doing a good quart of juice. Um, you know, there's different cleanses and things you can uh, fast, do a juice fast. Uh -huh. But I prefer, especially if you're not, like you said, you're a yeah. little bit afraid of it, you can start with just like a couple of cups and then work your way up to a quart of juice a day and Got still it. have your meals and everything. But what do you, like, but, okay, so that's, that was my question. So, mm -hmm. like, do, is it a, a supplement? A supplement to a meal or is it a replacement for a meal? Well, I would suggest that you have it as a breakfast oh. or as a lunch okay. at first because you're not going to want to have all of that juice, fluid in your tummy and then have a big salad or something. I mean, you could, but uh -huh. you're probably not going to want to. Okay. So it's ideal to kind of just let the juice do its thing also, just have it without um, solid food. Uh, the other compound that they found was called PQQ, and uh -huh. I won't say the whole thing because I'll butcher it, but it's also anti-inflammatory for the gut. It reverses liver damage from alcohol, oh, from yeah. fatty liver, it's so, so it supports um, healthy liver. And that's in celery, in beets, in um, lemons. So I prefer, one of the biggest mistakes people make when they juice is doing too much fruit. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd be like, because yeah. and then saving juice it. is kind of gross. So I'd be like, let's have apples! Yeah. Well, you can, you, <laughs> you can, know? but I would do like an 80-20 thing, where you do like 80% of the matter you juice is gonna be like green veggies, oh. even things like a green pepper, or oh. I know, cucumbers, things that have high water content, and then use like two green apples, or you can start with red apples, but you wanna do low glycemic, because remember, it's concentrated yeah, juice. Yeah, right, right, right. So you want to do like 80-20, and then you start slow and kind of build up, and 
and it's so good for you. You can do up to a gallon of juice a day, which really? is, if you do these juice cleanses, it ends up saving you money on food, and you start to see the benefits right away. What are, just real quick, the benefits? I mean, so, besides what all you're talking about with these compounds in there, but what are the benefits of just generic juice? Yeah, juicing? I felt like, for me, I always feel more energy. Mm -hmm. um, I, it reduces my appetite. So other than like fasting and other kinds of diets where you feel really restricted, I don't know why, but it reduces my appetite. Um, also gets the bowels going in a healthy way. Uh -huh. Skin feels great, looks great. So these things are, you know, That's awesome. really, those are great yeah. benefits. So some tips though, I would definitely opt for a masticating juicer or a press juicer instead of the centrifugal ones that spin. Oh, okay. If you already have one of those, keep it. It's great. Don't worry about it. But better would be one of those. The one, the press one. And then the other uh, mistakes are the 80-20 thing. 80-20. And then people having like a, a big vegetable fruit juice for breakfast and saying, I don't eat vegetables the rest of the day. And then we go back to what the naysayers were saying, you're missing out on your fiber. Right. That makes and sense. And then washing your juicer right away. Because if you leave it, two things, harder to wash and bacteria collects. So you want hot soapy water, clean it really quick, take six minutes, and the juicing takes six minutes. Okay. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. How better, long does it take to, to a make... better healthy gut? Yes, and a better, better healthy... beautiful skin. Exactly. All right. All right, Kitty, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. We'll be right back.